What's going on everybody, Market Alphas, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over two stocks that I could think could explode in this next coming week. So we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into it and talk about these two stocks. If you guys aren't already, subscribe to the channel because last week, um, I actually called out AMC when it was at $3.50 a share, and I think within two or three days, it hit like 25 bucks a share. So if you guys would have taken my advice on that, you would have made about 800% return. So make sure you guys pay attention to this and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more stock videos. And if this does help you out, drop a like. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this. So the first company we're going to be talking about is Fubo TV. Okay. Um, so as you can see here, the Motley Fool actually just released an article um, called Three Stocks That Could Make You Rich. They just released it yesterday. And one of the top stocks they put is Fubo. Okay. So this right here, this is good PR in itself. And this just came out yesterday. But basically what Fubo TV is, is they're a streaming company that can pretty much replace your cable provider, right? So you can get rid of your cable and you can watch all your favorite shows, movies, sports, whatever on Fubo TV, right? So it's like Netflix, but with actual TV channels, um, sports and all of that great stuff. And there's a lot more that we're about to get into. So let's go ahead and show you Fubo uh, their website real quick just so you guys can get the gist so live sports and tv without cable they have over 100 channels um it's all live and it's through the cloud uh, you can see some of the channels so all the big ones abc fox espn fx disney everything everything you could ask for that you would pretty much get in cable you get through fubo and you do it through a monthly fee right so you can get the family elite whatever whatever i'm not here trying to pitch you on the actual product we're going to talk about the stock but the reason I like this so much, if you guys haven't already noticed, the theme in the market for this past week was stocks that are highly shorted, right? We saw what happened with GameStop. We saw what happened with AMC. I believe SPCE, Virgin Galactic, also made a pretty good run-up um, this past week. Same with Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, and Fubo TV, as you can see right here, is the fourth most shorted stock with a short float of 71.91%. So a lot of people shorting this stock. And Fubo is one of the only stocks um, with this type of short float that is not yet restricted on Robinhood. So if you guys trade on Robinhood, you guys would have seen on Friday uh, that most stocks you can only buy like one or two shares of. Uh, with Fubo TV, there are no restrictions yet. So we could see um, you know, some some big increases on Monday if it stays unrestricted because you know it's one of the only highly shorted stocks that doesn't have a restriction. So it would get a lot of attention. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. So another thing about Fubo TV, right? Not only do they pretty much like replace your cable, give you live TV, all that, but they are also getting into the sports gambling market, which I think is super cool. It's a growing industry. Uh, you see companies like DraftKings, Penn, Fandle, they're all growing like crazy. And it seems like every couple of weeks, uh, states are just legalizing it and there's more and more stuff coming out about that. So um, it's a, a industry that is still yet to you know, be built and there's a lot of room to grow in it. But basically, um, Fubo TV announced more details of its online wagering strategy. Uh, so basically, Fubo will be opening their own sports books. So if you guys have seen like FanDuel Sportsbook or uh, I believe Barstool has a sports book. So you just it's sports betting basically. Um, and it will be able to integrate with Fubo's TV, right? So you know, I don't know exactly how it's going to work yet, but you could probably have the game on on your TV. And then through that, if you're watching the game, like bet on the game right through Fubo. So it just makes it super easy and seamless. Um, and they also said, even if you don't have a Fubo TV membership, you'll still be able to use their sports book, which is cool because, um, you know, it's extra revenue for them, even for the people that don't have Fubo. So um, they posted some really good quarter four 2020 results. Um they did a 72% increase of subscribers, paid subscribers year over year. So things are looking good for this company. Let's go ahead and look at the chart. So as you can see here, this thing ran up from about $9 all the way to $63 in a matter of like two months. I, I actually saw it happen. I saw somebody I followed on Twitter called it out at like nine bucks uh, and I saw it run up to 60. Unfortunately, I didn't get in on it then, but we can get on it in on it now. So you can see this week it actually spiked up to uh, just under it looks like fifty eight dollars, just under fifty eight. So pretty good spike, and then it came back down as the market pulled down this week. 
and it came down, bounced off the $40 resistance and closed at just over $42, I believe, um, on Friday. So I think uh, Monday should be good with the new Motley Fool article that came out as it's not restricted uh, and it's highly shorted. More people are probably finding it through the weekend. Um, and hopefully the market um, is a bit greener on Monday than it was this past week. So I think if this thing breaks the, it has some resistance at $44. If it breaks that, I think we could see it into the low mid fifties this week. And I think over $57 or crossing this high that it bounced off of here, then I think we see it retest um, all time highs. And if it breaks that, this thing could go to $70, $80 very quickly. This stock moves super quickly. Um, as you can see, you know, just a week ago, this thing was trading at $30 and almost doubled in the matter of a week. So this thing can go really quick. So if you do like what you hear so far, I would definitely recommend getting in it. Uh, I think this is going to be a really great play for this coming week um, and into the long term. So I currently am invested in it, by the way. Both of the stocks we're going to talk about, I do have positions in. So um, just another thing, it has a analyst ratings. The average across all the ratings is a buy rating. Just want to show you guys that, um, just some extra stuff. So that is the first stock. Now, the next one, some of you may have heard of because um, it did do pretty well this past week, but I think there's a lot of more room to go. So this is SNDL. It is a penny weed stock, okay? Um, so as you can see, this thing has traded up way higher than it currently is. This thing is trading now at just over 80 cents per share, but we did see a big spike up to $1.40 this week. Um, it is a pretty highly shorted stock. I think the short um, is 15%, so definitely lower than like Fubo and all those other stocks I went crazy, but still a decent amount of people are short on it. And this thing, 0 0.80 was a huge resistance for this thing. And as you can see, this broke it, and then $1 was another huge resistance for the stock, and it broke it and shot past. Um, and then with all the restrictions and Robinhood, that kind of took it down. Um, and now it's sitting right around 80 cents um, and it's holding pretty good there. So what I think we could see this stock do um, in the coming week is I definitely think we see this go over $1 because there was a lot of news regarding weed that came out on Thursday and Friday. But because of the market, because of the restrictions, um, the, the weed stocks just didn't really get the pump that they normally would have with that type of news. So if we go into the five minute chart, you can probably see, yeah, right here. And you'll see this across all weed stocks on Friday. It had this little pump right here. I um, mean, it shot up. So it went from what, 72 cents all the way to 90 cents. And then that's basically how every weed stock was when this news came out. And then it just dumped with the market, with all the restrictions, all of that stuff. So, um, so I think because of the snooze, uh, it should be discovered more throughout the weekend. It's basically just saying uh, the marijuana reform bills are being merged as Congress moves to legalize weed and end prohibition on it. Um, and so even if you just look up weed bill, there's news all the time coming out. New New Jersey marijuana legalization. Um, they're looking at legalizing it. Same for Virginia. Same for Tennessee, I believe. A uh, new bill would allow you to grow marijuana as New Jersey legal weed debate continues. Right. So there's new developments and stuff coming out about weed pretty much every day it seems like but this was some really big news that we had um on thursday and friday and the weed stocks just didn't move because of how the market was how robin hood was so i think we do see a move by weed stocks um this coming week and i think this one if it pushes over a dollar we could see it retest this high and honestly i think we could break this and shoot to two dollars i think two dollars is reasonable within the next week or two and another really good thing about this stock is that whenever they seem to get some momentum, like around here, here, whatever, they would always drop an offering. Um, and they just recently closed their last offering and they said they will not be doing another offering until at least March 29th, I believe is the date. So that gives us pretty much two months with no offerings. So this thing, I think, um, you know, maybe not this week, but maybe in, you know, two to three weeks, I think we could see $2 on this. But I wouldn't even be surprised if we hit it this week. Um, but I think definitely this week we see this crossover $1 and maybe even retest this 140 area. Um, and we can see from there if it looks like it's going to hit two or not. So hopefully these were helpful. Um, definitely take a look at these yourselves. 
And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.